This is Openly Hostile Opinions. With your host, Casey and Jay. What the hell is wrong with you? I can do anything I want to you people anytime I want to. Hey, hey, hey! What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome to the show. Feel it sexy. Mm. I see. I see. Trevor, <laughs> Trevor's in here hanging out already. How's it going? What's up, everybody? Doing all right. Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh, so, as usual, for those in, who aren't in the know, I'm Jay. This is Casey. I hope you like our fabulous new layout and beautiful thing here. I made. Uh, you'll notice scrolling across the bottom here, all fancy like, we have a call in number. We'll uh, we'll take a couple of calls here later on. Great, Trevor, we're doing doing great. Besides my toothache, I have a really bad toothache, so I'm all hopped up on different drugs. Um, yeah, so <laughs> you notice every week he has an issue. I know, dude. My body's falling apart. Like I think I have AIDS or something. It's all the drugs you've done over the years. Probably. I never did a lot of drugs. Well, eh, I don't know. You had your. Share. I've done a lot of drinking. Let's just say. It. Let's just put it that way. Speaking of which, good segue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I picked something strong this week because my tooth uh, is fucking killing me. So hopefully this beer will take the pain away. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. Oh god! Today so we have uh, w from Rusty Rail Brewing Company out of Mifflinburg, Pennsylvania. We have Wolf King Warrior Imperial Stout. Yes. Take a look at this label. It looks like something a five year old dr would draw, <laughs> but we love it. Uh, let's see here. This is brewed with coffee and oatmeal. It. Uh, oh, let's see here. Hints of Warrior One coffee and our organic shade grown blend from Costa Rica. Uh, aye, 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 aye. They did this in a partnership <laughs> with like coming college for some reason. Oh, really? There's nothing, nothing like college students and drinking. This this was made by students from like coming college. Well, I I think they drank it at least. Oh, really? Well, it's like so. This college. is uh, this is eight point two percent. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be an ass kicker. Yeah, let's go and try this. Cheers, mate. Cheers. <sighs> Delightful. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's strong. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what are what are we okaying? I don't know. Trevor's like, I want some beer. <laughs> oh man, this is actually really coffee. It, t like it tastes it. like cold coffee, basically. That's all it tastes like to me. It's got a little chocolate going on. It's very, uh, very roasty, very dark. Yeah, it got is a, very dark. The taste has a lot of chocolate note, a lot of like, uh, you know, that malty caramely finish it's really really good yes trevor it's better than last week last week i fucking after the show i went immediately outside caught a rabbit and licked its asshole to get the <laughs> taste out of my mouth <laughs> you know what? I, I i'm taking i'm taking this week's rating man i'm gonna i'm gonna call this uh this is a, a good four and a half out of five casey needs to see a goddamn dentist <laughs> hi cyanide how are you doing i see that you made it Cy, hey <laughs> look Call in number. Call yeah. in number. We got call in number now. We're we're sort of getting professional here. <laughs> yeah. So uh, phones are open. If anybody wants to give us a call, we'd be happy to entertain your request. Yes. No. Uh. No porn people, please. Actually, that's okay. <laughs> uh, and no hate speech, or we'll get uh, banned by iTunes, and we really <laughs> don't want iTunes to ban our asses. So, yeah. Uh, for those of you who maybe. Uh, Oh, we're doing great. I was going to say, for those of you on the podcast, I'll read the fucking number off, but duh, you, uh, the podcast doesn't go live till Thursdays. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, podcast listeners, if you call us around 8.30ish or so on Tuesday nights, you can get a hold of us. It's 570-392-6776. We'll be happy to take your calls. And if you order in the next five minutes, you will receive a free hand job, spit included, from me. <laughs> And no now we will never sell another <laughs> another bit of merchandise ever again. Please, no CODs. <laughs> or, or OCDs or yeah, STDs. Or OCDs. Or... So uh, I am babysitting. I know. Scary. Uh, they let me around kids for some reason. But um, 
yeah, so I'm babysitting for the next two days. Uh, she's out in the living room right now. She really wanted to be in the show, but I said this isn't a show for kids. So she was really upset. But hopefully she doesn't destroy the place when I go out there in an hour. <laughs> um, I gave her a Big Mac, so hopefully that puts her into a food coma so she's comfortable out there. <laughs> People are giving you their kids again, yes. so I would like to know. I know. Uh, <laughs> yes, believe it or not, he's a great babysitter, but I think it's more the fact that he's a kid himself. Yes, I am. I still play World of Warcraft. Uh, Cartoon Network is on all the time at my house. As I said uh, before, as uh, anybody who follows this show knows, we have a pedophile down the road, so so the bar is set pretty low. Yeah, funny story um, that I got to bring this up. So um, the girl I'm babysitting, uh, if anyone has watched our show with our guest, Ashley the Neighbor on, it's her kid. Okay. Uh, could you be mine? Could you be mine? You would, Trevor, if you were drunk. <laughs> uh, she's out there entertaining herself. Uh, we're letting the TV babysit for one. <laughs> uh, she's 10 years old. And uh, she's a very mature 10-year-old. Yeah, she is very mature. Her mother, you know, does pretty good at raising her. She, She's not like... She she could do everything by herself. Like she's very very well mannered. Like after she was done with her big mash, she went and put her plate in the sink. Like <laughs> she didn't leave it out in the mess and everything like that. Uh, and in any event, yeah. She plus she knows if there was an emergency, she could just come in here and get us. Yeah, it's she'd probably break deal. down the door and be like, "You motherfuckers!" <laughs> oh, yours is ten. Yeah, ten's a good age. My 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 uh, kids uh, eleven. Oh uh, yeah. But anyways, like I was saying, so um. So her whole family lives by me. Like I'm known as the renter out here because the uh, renter. I, yeah, because I'm not family. Well, her aunt and uncle live right next to me. And when Abby first came over today for me to babysit, um, the uncle came over and he knocked on my door and he goes, "Hey, you know, my wife would like to talk to Abby for a second. So Abby goes over there and Abby comes back and she doesn't say anything. But there's a creek out back that we go to and we were swimming in. And she goes, you know what my aunt said to me? I go, what's that? She goes, she was just worried that, you know, that maybe you would be like Mel. And, you know, she was making sure that you're not a child molester. <laughs> <and> shit. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, my next door neighbors think I'm a child molester. And they think it's weird that I'm babysitting my friend's kid. So that's, that made me feel a little, you know, fucking weird inside. But whatever, you know. I heard yeah, they're well, like that it doesn't it doesn't help that you have no bathroom door, so there's that. I put a blanket over it so she can I'll, have some I'll, privacy. I'll give you that. <laughs> I, oh shit, no, there's no shitting. <laughs> Unless you do it through a blanket. Yeah. No, I nailed a blanket up, so uh it should be fine so she can have some Yeah, we went swimming in the creek. But I'm actually really excited. I created something today with her. We went to the store. We bought a bunch of chemicals. You better fucking like get to the point quick before we get a phone call from child services. <laughs> um, so I made something today with with her Abby. Uh, we bought a bunch of chemicals from the grocery store. Uh, we got some weird looks because they probably thought we were making meth. But we, if anyone you know surfs on the internet a lot, they keep seeing these slime videos. You know, do it yourself, uh, make, you know, your own slime and everything like that. Well, we ended up making some and it turned out perfect. Like, I'm really happy with this. So <laughs> I'm just going to show you this. It smells like like laundry because you're supposed to put hand soap in it. And we picked cotton linen. <laughs> <laughs> but like anyone that can uh, watch and see, I got slime. I made it. It's not sticky or nothing. Wee. <laughs> And you just stretch it like that. And kids love it, dude. She was, like, so amazed when she's like, she's like, I love this more than soccer. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, do-it-yourself slime. It actually works if you follow the directions. Just don't, you know, snort it or anything like that. <laughs> uh, Cy, just, uh, Cy just put a plug in, but it went by too fast for me to read. Say it again, and I'll read it out loud there. What do you got going on? What happened to her? Uh, she's, she's, she's hosting something or whatnot. Put, put it up again. We'll give you a, give you a plug. Oh, she's hosting something? It, apparently. It's uh, the child molester 5,000, thousand, thousand. Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, sorry. Oh, man, probably on weird. a delay. She probably can't see us right this second. Yeah. Hello. How are you doing? I can't see. There's a glare here. What is well, that? turn it. I got I got it up on mine. I don't oh, need okay. you. I don't need your shit. <laughs> <laughs> Although I gotta say, we gotta come up with a better thing because like this whole end of the screen right here is yeah. just gone from your laptop. Oh, is it? <laughs> Whatever. We just have a bunch of big black things across here. It looks like a bunch of dicks. You're doing a dance over take a party a dance party takeover. Or femme y femme yoga t 
Taylor channel as a blonde. Oh, okay. She she apparently uh, got rid of the black and. These are the guys who show you're going to go, oh, 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 oh hey, oh. Woot. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were going to get in touch with you, and Casey forgot. Yeah, because <laughs> cause I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, I, I tasked him with that job, and I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. All right, we know who you are now. Okay, yeah, we're going we're gonna to talk to you next um, about next week about being on the show, if that's okay with you. <laughs> or if you want to tell your story early, you could call in. However, we're not prepared with questions, and we're going to kind of do the interview deal. So, yeah, yeah. we're going to interview you. Also, blonde wig. Blonde wig. Okay. It's cool. What's the plan? Well, we were just going to talk to you about some shit, and uh, hopefully you could elaborate a little bit about uh, your story. Yeah. I read a little bit about it on Wikipedia just to kind of see what was going on, and I got to say, it's... Uh, it's interesting. No, I'll wait. She says, okay, well, uh, for those of you who are listening right now, uh, Woot here is, uh, she's she's the daughter of a serial killer, which is not a good thing to be. No. <laughs> and uh, this occurred in a nursing home, which I used to work in a nursing home, so I can understand quite how crazy it can be there. So if you want to see a little bit more about what's going on with that, then we're going to try to make that happen next week. So make sure you tune in. Yes, I didn't recognize your name. I, I, I saw it, and then that's why me and Jay both went, whoa, at the same time, because we just realized who we were talking about. Yeah, so we're going to talk to her, anybody uh, that wants to, you know. It has fringe benefits. <laughs> I cannot wait for you to elaborate on that, but save it for Are next you, week. Were you talking about the fringe, like the show? Is that what you're referring to? No, fringe Woot. benefits. It comes with... It comes I don't know. <laughs> I was just making a joke. I don't know. I just remember that show Fringe. That God, was... you're lame. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, but so uh, like we said, we're going to try to have her on either next week or the week after that. And like we said, she is the daughter of a serial killer. So we're going to interview her and everything like that. Just talk about it. And uh, yeah. yeah, you're not going to want to miss that. Yes. But on an unrelated note, uh, you know, so I was going through the news today and I found something interesting. Lovable idiot. I know, Cy. Thank you. Someone has to love me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so what is the worst thing that could happen, do you think, when you are fucking your girlfriend in the back of a car? Uh, she shits on your dick and corn comes out on your pee hole. <laughs> I was going to go with die, but that might actually be a preferable situation to what actually happened. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the 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 corn corn kernel on the pee hole does not sound like a good time. Yeah, I don't want no corn the cob dick. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I was I was reading the news today, man, and I just uh these Russians cuz of course they were. Uh, well, what are they where in the hurry? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but they they were they were they were parking as as uh, teenagers tend to do. Well, they're 22, I guess. Not so really. they're old enough to know better. But they were parking next to a lake, and they were getting it on in the back seat. And I don't know how, but somehow the car came out of gear and rolled into the lake. And Did they both they drowned. Die? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Hellfire? It's weird. Uh, weird's you not uh, weird. You uh, saying something that's not calling us gay. <laughs> Can you talk today? <laughs> I just, dude, my tooth is fucking killing me yeah, right sure, now. Yeah, <laughs> sure, it's the tooth. It's not the fact that you're gargling on dicks or Yeah, whatever. <laughs> See, why is Hellfire have to say it? Jay just says it. What, what, what state was this in that this happened in? It was in, uh, it was in Russia. Oh, okay, Russia. that's right, because they were in a hurry. That's why they crashed the fucking car. They were in a hurry, you know, <laughs> and they hit the fucking, you know, shift stick and then went into the fucking... See, that's why you got to slow down when you have sex. <laughs> yeah, so they left the car in neutral, I guess. And, and, uh, a bunch of dumb their, their, and I quote, passionate movements jolted the Nivea, so it edged forward into the lake. Oh, my God. And they both died. Yeah, they both died. They weren't able to get out. That uh, just goes to show you, you should really have one of those freaking... Uh, Freaking, you know, window breaker deals. Oh yeah, yeah, like the firemen use. I mean, I guess they make gloves like that. Like they're these nylon gloves you put on, and the ends are like fiberglass or something. And you just go like that, and it breaks the glass. Oh yeah, that, that can't be any worse than those. Uh, they're gloves for tearing up pork barbecue. <laughs> they got claws. Oh, yeah, yeah. Looks like uh, looks like nice gloves, you know, for you know some pussy torture. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jay, you look unnaturally gay wearing that hat. Oh. See, there it is. We're, we're, we're right back. It's Hellfire. not unnatural. <laughs> I, I was born this way. Yeah, because we lived in 50 states of gay now, so it's okay. 
Uh, so who's going to call us? Come on. We, we're, we're ready to take a call. Who's <laughs> Who's got the balls? But in Hellfire's words, we're probably ready to take dicks. Right, Hellfire? <laughs> Who's who's gonna who's gonna give us a call? Sai, is it gonna be you? You gonna call us first? Hellfire, Duffy. Uh, Woot. I'm I'm sorry to uh say it like that because you said it sounds crazy when we say it like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Which four of us will call? I don't know. Batman. Hey man. You know. <laughs> hey four four is more than you know. Hey, than... share with your friends, fuckers. We could yeah. get some more than four people in yeah, here. Yeah, we're like herpes. Just share it to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but anyways, um, I do want to talk about something because there uh, there's all this shit on the internet these days about you know shaming and all this bull crap and stuff like that. Um, she says she did. <laughs> oh well, well, let me tweet. Oh, it oh, she she shared it. Okay, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I thought she said she called. All right, so I guess there's this thing called skinny um, privilege now. I guess skinny privilege. What the yeah, fuck is that? It's when you're skinny. And you tweet photos and stuff of you eating, like, hamburgers and shit and being, like, um, what's the word? Uh, bragging that you ate it all, like a food challenge or something like that. Well, of oh course, fat, yeah. Dude, I can't make this up, man. It's called skinny privilege, you know, along with white privilege. What so. the fuck? <laughs> I know, dude. Like, these fat people were going after these skinny people that were taking pictures and putting them online. Because they were saying that they were bragging that they were skinny and then they can eat like a fucking pound burger or something like that. So all these fat people are getting pissed off and calling it skinny privilege. <laughs> That's so stupid. I know, dude. I can't make this shit up, man. You know, I'm so sick of this crap. And it's 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 not okay to fat shame people, but it's not okay to skinny shame people either. It's not okay to like make fun of people because they're skinny. It is who they are. You just let it go, man. Fuck I it. know, but dude, like, what can we... we just all fucking live? <laughs> yeah, I know. God damn. <laughs> like, I just, I just don't know what, <laughs> what privilege is going to be next. Like, is there going to be like, uh, I don't know, blonde hair privilege or something like that? Oh, never uh, mind. That was Nazi Germany. Yeah, thin. <laughs> size says hashtag thin inspiration. Well, I mean, if you're like that Eugenia, yeah, don't hate me for my metabolism. There you go. If you're like that Eugenia Cooney chick that clearly has an issue, that's a different story. But uh, who's that bitch? Uh, oh, you never seen her? Mm -mm. Oh my god, she's 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 is like she a YouTuber? Yeah, and she's like this big around. Uh. She looks like a like fucking four pencils tied together with a rubber band. <laughs> and, Actually, uh, yeah, I think you did show me that to her. Yeah, yeah, Eugenia Cooney is fucking dying, dude. That's exactly it, and it's not you know it's not even funny. She has an illness, and she won't admit to it. <laughs> I mean, when you've got a fucking <laughs> yeah, skinny privilege, my fucking ass. Yeah, I'm with you, man. And see, that's the thing. If I seen her in public, I'd probably go up and just start eating hot dogs in front of her. I'm like, oh, geez, this is delicious. That's why I never go to Ethiopia, because I know I'll, like, you know, go up to this village and all these kids are starving. I'm like, hey, can you uh, tell me where the cl like closest Golden Corral is? <laughs> And then I'll just then I'll just get all to go food and eat it right in front of him. <laughs> yeah, Sai says exactly. She says she's naturally skinny, but she's not exactly. She's got an illness. Nah. It's clear that she has some sort of eating disorder. I'm not trying to like fucking shame anybody. You know what? The only people who deserve shame is people who fucking do it to themselves and make no effort to change. Whoever whatever that may be. It's like, you know what? I'm fucking fat. <laughs> but I made myself that way. At least I'm trying to... Fat like, privilege. I'm trying to Fat remedy privilege, it. Fat privilege, damn it. <laughs> I, I'm trying to remedy it. I'm on a, I'm on a, uh, I'm on a diet again. <laughs> the whole vegetarian thing didn't work out. So. I'm back on the diet again. <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll tell you people so you can call me on it when I say, when I uh, eat dumb shit. <laughs> I just, dude, I just, I, it doesn't surprise me next. I just, I think it's the internet, dude. The internet's just ruining people. Like, no one can just be fucking happy anymore. It's like, holy shit, man. I'm supposed to be a miserable fuck, and everyone else is doing a better job than me. <laughs> I just don't fucking get it. Human privilege. That's right. We are privileged. I know. Fuck God. those apes and shit, man. Oh, man. People, fuck them dogs. People are different. Oh, lordy. And it's just like, that's the thing. Like, everyone has all these opinions and shit like that. The world's just going to look like one giant hemorrhoid because everyone's going to be and act the same and, you know, start dabbing. <laughs> Actually, I have to dab because I... <laughs> I, that, did I did I do it right? Yeah. I told Abby, the girl I'm babysitting, that uh, I would dab for her. So that one's for you, Abby. <laughs> but she does like she does a really good like she swings the hand. She's like, 
But that's, I don't know, it's fucking kids these days. And she's walking around saying savage and shit. <laughs> it's just fucking weird. You know, I don't think of myself as being that old. I'm only in, like, the 30s. I hated it when people gave me shit for wearing my military uniform in public. Wait, wait, wait why? Why would somebody give you shit for that? Oh, dude. Oh, as in trying to get free I, shit. Yeah. Oh, fuck that. I, uh, no, I, I seen um, a video on that, how there was a guy that wasn't from the military, and he got a military uniform, and he was walking around the mall trying to get free stuff. And is that what people were, like, trying to say to you? or Because I knew you were in the military because Sai said that you were. But I did see that this guy confronted this kid because he wasn't in the military and he was well, trying that, to... Well, that guy should be beaten senseless. Yeah. You know what? Uh, it, here's, the, here's the thing. If you have the balls to go out there and put your life on the line for our country, you are more of a man than I am, including Cy. Si. Cy <laughs> uh, is more of a man than I am. Cy si has a penis. <laughs> <laughs> because you know what? Uh, there are a lot of people, brave people, great people out there on the front lines who are every day putting their ass on the line for everybody else. And you know what? I'm just not one of those people. Yeah. Like, if there's anybody I'd want to be on the front lines, it's not me. Because the first sign of gunfire, I dive into the clearest hole and cover up and pray to God nobody <laughs> finds me. <laughs> See, I almost joined the Army, but I went back to school for some reason. Oh, you in the army? Yeah, I almost your little the army. pasty white ass would stick out. Dude, I would have died, man. Yeah. I'd be like, can I? When, when's Azeroth? Like, when can I play? When can I play World of Warcraft? Like, <laughs> I would, I would have not made it through the army that well. So I'm sort of glad it didn't happen. I'm like a fragile stick of sour cream because <laughs> I'm very pale. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure they can see how pale you are. Yeah. Uh, if you just look at our little little preview here, I'm like five shades darker than you, and I'm pale. <laughs> Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, uh, I have some friends from California, and um, I, they found me on Facebook and everything like that, and they looked at me, and they're like, God, you're fucking pale. I'm like, it's not fucking California out here where it's always sunny and fucking 80 degrees. Shit, man. Fucking people. Hell's Fire says you would make it through these days. Oh, uh, it's yeah. a bunch of pussies. Yeah, yeah that's, that's I'm I... a pussy. I would not want me to protect me. Well. Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me, Hellfire. Like, even, uh, I forget who it was. It was a coach for a um, college basketball team. And I think it was, like, Arizona or something. And he was saying how hard it is to coach these days from people coming out of high school because of how soft everything is, how everyone gets a participation trophy and shit. And he went on, like, a pretty good rant about it. He was saying it's just fucking different, man. People expect everything. They don't work their ass off. It's just, ugh. So I could see how the army, you know, would, I don't know, maybe. It's, you might as well just stop talking. So I just announced she uh, scoped yesterday in a bikini, and now nobody's paying attention to us anymore. <laughs> 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 Nobody cares. Actually, didn't didn't that uh, didn't she do that today? Because I think I was. Um, we were playing, <laughs> you were masturbating. Yeah, we were playing in the creek, um, and I think it came across my phone. Yeah. Yeah, it came across my phone and it said uh, new bikini or something or swimming in a bikini or something. I forget what it said. At Ocean City joined. Ocean City. Hey, where, right. hey, I wonder where he's at. That's my favorite <laughs> place in the fucking world. Ocean City, Maryland, anyway. I don't know if that's where you're from. Yeah, that's where he's going. Aren't you going there in like a month? Uh, Three weeks. Three fucking long, long weeks. I, I see that. I see that, uh, Hellfire, because I was just reading an article about how this um, female, she joined the fire company, I think, or whatever like that, but she failed out because she didn't pass the physical thing um, side. She, you know, failed a bunch of that shit. Well, she sued him, ended up getting it, and then dropped a the guy down the steps and ended up killing him. Oh, nice. <laughs> if females can join the military, so can Casey. To be Thank fair, <laughs> most of the females I know are more manly than Casey. Yeah, out here, man. They fucking... Out like, here, nothing. <laughs> no. Females out here, man. They fucking, like, after they have sex with you, they bite your head off like a praying mantis. <laughs> That's how brutal they are out here. And it's fucking disturbing. Ugh. Jesus Christ. And they have no teeth. So when you hand them a, like. -a -ding, ding, 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 <laughs> yeah. ding, ding. Yeah, like, I swear to God, you know, this one girl bent over, you know, in front of me one time. Fucking her butthole winked at me and then it opened my beer bottle. It was, like, ridiculous. <laughs> They're fucking weird out here, man. <laughs> Women out here are fucking weird. Actually, <clears throat> that reminds me of another story. Uh, if anyone Come jobs, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> um, 
our friend Kevin was on the show one time. He was a guest host, and he was telling us a story about his friend from Australia. And I don't know about anyone else, but every Australian that I meet is fucking crazy for some reason. They're just very hyper. They just drink beer and love the party. Well, he was telling What's wrong with that? <laughs> I know, but it's sort of like a, a little bit more extreme America. But he went to this strip club in the Philippines, okay? And this stripper... <laughs> took his beer bottle with her vagina, did a handstand, sucked the beer out, and then put it back in the bottle. <laughs> he It blew his mind so much, he then cheered the same bottle with his friends and slammed it. <laughs> like... I don't see a better reaction than that, Kevin's, really. Kevin said he used to have it on video, because that's when, like, GoPros first came out. <laughs> Kevin lies. Yeah. But still, dude, that is... Yes, then Casey inhaled it with my huge nostrils. <laughs> but I think, dude, if that ever happened to me, I would die happy. After that, I would just stand up, walk outside, and have a tractor trailer truck hit me. Because how do you top that? I just, there's nothing else that can top that. Do you, could you think of anything else to top that? <laughs> I don't know. We saw a video of a girl sucking water up with a straw. Oh, yeah. When I was, I used to be in a band. We were having band practice, and this one lesbian came over, and for five bucks, she took a cup of water and sucked um, the water up through a straw in her vagina, ran over like a couple steps. So she held it in there while wobbling, and then squirted it back out in my friend John's mouth for five bucks. <laughs> it was amazing. Of course, most of the sluts I know would do that shit for free. Yeah, exactly. But my, my I've friend, seen a stripper blow bubbles with her vagina cyanide set. That's fucking awesome. Don't lie. It was you. <laughs> Shared it. Hope you fuckers are happy. Thank you, Hell. That, that means you're, a lot you're a good. Me. You're a good guy. You're, you, you, you're good people. Yeah. Either know you think, you know, I've had more dicks than me than a urinal, but whatever. <laughs> you had more dicks than you than a convention of Richards. <laughs> Ham sandwich. <laughs> it's fun dabbing like that. I like the hand twist. Woo. No, I've never been a stripper. Yeah, it's kind of like the girls down here is like, oh, I'm not a slut. Yeah, you're or, uh, I'm not a whore. You're right. You don't charge for it. <laughs> exactly. Hell, we have a stra uh, fucking prostitute around here. She charges like 20 bucks. She fucking ugly, though, man. What? Yeah, she fucking Do I know ugly. her? Yes, you do, but I'm not saying her name. <laughs> <laughs> and not right now, but you're going to have to tell me later. I'll tell you after the <laughs> show. <laughs> She's like Patty the Daytime Hooker from right? My Name yeah. is Earl or something. Thank you, Hellfire. That means a lot for me. <laughs> or from, yeah. Maybe it's a lot for me. <laughs> I'm so fucked up on drugs right now from my tooth, dude. I don't even know what's going on. And this beer is like 9% almost. Probably so. Casey's mom. <laughs> oh, she watches this occasionally. I better not say anything. Hey, leave my mom out of this and I'll leave my dick out of your mom. <laughs> Look who you talking to. I'd murder a motherfucker for touching me. I don't doubt that in the slightest. Yeah. Yeah, I do not doubt that either. It's a, it's a fucking great I, I'm though. pretty sure uh, <laughs> Sai will cut a bitch. Oh, yeah. Paper brown bag version. Yes. Yes. That's why. Uh, that's, that's like that joke where uh, the guy goes to buy condoms, and uh, she's like, five bucks, please. And he gives her five bucks. She goes, would you like a bag with that? And he goes, eh, she, it's not that ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a gander at both of your moms. Yeah. My, uh, mom, my mom has big titties. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. She does. <laughs> like she my does. friends, they'd always come over to my house, and they'd be like, God, Casey, your mom has big ass titties. And then my friend Gordon, he'd be like, "When she walks up the steps, does she trip over him?" <laughs> Is Gordon really your friend at this uh, point? No, he's more no. of an acquaintance who would come up. You know what? Let me tell you some Gordon st stories. <laughs> Gordon stories are fun. <laughs> so we hung around the same group of people, as you might imagine, uh, when we were growing up. Well, there's this one guy whose name is Gordon, and Gordon is the biggest narcissist piece of shit I've ever known in my life. Now, he could be incredibly entertaining, and he was a good guy at heart, but he did the, the most awful things, yeah. and it never occurred to him they were awful. Yeah, he was so, just a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> for example, he would get all fucking blitzed on uh, Miller High Life, because for some reason he thought that was a good beer. <laughs> and he had some sort of uh, thought that the, he was superior over other folks for drinking said beer. Well, one time I had him over, I had just moved into an apartment with my now wife, but she was my girlfriend at the time. I moved into an apartment. It was my first, like, real place on my own. I was super excited, so I had a whole big party with a bunch of people. And uh, Gordon comes over uninvited, because of course he did, <laughs> and uh, passes out on my couch, pees all over the couch, because he peed on everything. Yeah, he did. <laughs> and then... 
He got up in the middle of the night and went over to my heat register and pissed in it, thinking it was the bathroom. They, and let me tell you this. They look the same. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you this. That is the gift that keeps on giving. Yes. Because every time the heat kicked on, <laughs> well, you can imagine. Be like, huh? It smells like those videos I used to do in college. <laughs> college yeah. is expensive. A bunch of people meeting your two hands and a dog. No, I used to have friends <laughs> before the he got married, and his wife took his balls. You know, <laughs> shut the fuck up. No, it's more like one of them's in prison for doing heroin. One of them's in the navy and is making something of himself. Is the one none of us ever thought would do anything. One's a fucking like astrophysicist because he's too goddamn smart for his own good. Who's an astrophysicist? I don't know. McGargle. He was going to school for like. Oh, McGargle. Uh, yeah, he was. He's funny. so fucking smart. It's not even funny. Yeah, he got he was the blind really kid who's just living his life. Yeah, we we were friends with this blind kid, and he didn't like cars for some reason. <laughs> we never figured out why. Like, we were going to the Unimark to get, like, pizza and cigarettes and shit. And I'm like, where's the fucking blind kid at? And he's running next to our car down the street. I'm like, they're like, he doesn't like cars. I'm like, what? You know, in fact, uh, the kids whose house we used to go to party most of the time before it ended up being my house. Uh, <laughs> uh, one time the blind kid passed out drunk and... Uh, uh, our buddy Joe, who's now actually in the Navy and a productive member of society, in which we would never would have expected, yeah. uh, sitting there vacuuming, he just keeps smashing a vacuum into uh, <laughs> into his face, <laughs> sucking up the vomit that he had just spewed everywhere. I've seen that a lot. For some reason, when people are drunk, they think it's a good idea to vacuum up vomit, and well, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you'd seen his house, you didn't. But yeah. anyway. So he puked on the floor. This guy's vacuum. Joe Joe's his name. Joe's vacuuming up the blind kid's uh, vomit. Keeps smashing him in the fist. Like, dude, what are you doing? You're gonna break his nose. He's like, you shouldn't have puked on my fucking floor. <laughs> yeah, I remember this one time. This girl puked Taco Bell up all over my thing, and I go upstairs, and my girlfriend at the time is vacuuming it up. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, man? It's like, yeah, clearly you don't have to clean the vacuum. Yeah, it was pretty chunky <laughs> though. Like, there was a lot of lettuce for some reason. Like, Taco Bell, if you ever puke that shit up, it does not digest. <laughs> oh, I got another blind kid story, too, actually. Uh, I, I, I'm i sure we can tell a few more Gordon stories, too, because yeah, I know he, he used to live with Gordon. Like oh, an idiot. God, dude. But let me tell one more blind kid story, and then we'll go on to more Gordon stories. <laughs> so uh, the blind kid is uh, Joe's mom is an alcoholic. And a whore. Raging alcoholic. And a and whore. A, no, she didn't charge for it. She's a slut. Like, we had a friend that fucked Joe's mom. And when he was fucking her, his balls fell in her. That's how, That's how you know, fucking hand grenade in a meat locker, you know, that crap was. <laughs> On a side note, we were robbing her bedroom for booze because she's a raging alcoholic. One time we found her dildo, and it, it was shaped like a fist. Dude, it was huge, it and was it was so big. dirty. I remember it being <laughs> dirty. Like, it had veins on it and shit, and the veins had, like, dirt shaped, and stuff in it. shaped just <laughs> like this. And it had written on it, the fist of Adonis. <laughs> anyway... Anyway, so she comes home at like 3 a.m. when the bars close because, of course, she does. And uh, we destroyed the house because we always destroyed the house. And I guess at this point, she was slightly more sober than usual. So she flips the fuck out on all of us. And uh, she makes us all clean the house at like 3 a.m., which we probably should have done. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but normally she's so blitzed, we can wait till the morning and do it while she's sleeping it off. So anyway, she she makes us all clean the shit, and, and and the blind kid is out there vacuuming the floor, and she's sitting there on the on the couch, going, "Kyle, you missed a spot." <laughs> and I look at her, I'm like, "Tammy, he's fucking blind. <laughs> of course he missed a spot." <laughs> Then she laughed, and then she was cool, and then she drank more with us. And then she tried to sleep with all of us like she usually did, and then we all died a little inside. <laughs> Including the females. <laughs> yeah. She she didn't care, man. You had a heartbeat and some body <laughs> fluid in you. She wanted you, and it was fucking creepy. Oh, man, we used to trash that house, though. I remember when we used to, like, break the walls. Well, I wasn't there for it, but I remember Jane. I was. Me, uh, the, the pieces of the walls would just break off because we'd listen to metal. and We'd fucking mosh and shit like that. My head went through the wall. Yeah, that's, so that's... they fucking put the wall back together with peanut butter. It worked. <laughs> and it did work. She never found out about it. <laughs> it ain't... See, a stupid fix isn't stupid if it works. Yeah. But it just for some reason, like, no one, you know, no one listening to this, uh, well, maybe some of you are from Pennsylvania, you know where Montgomery's at. And for some reason, everyone from Montgomery is fucking batshit crazy. I had a party they at my are, house. They are, they really are. When I lived with Gordon, and we had this kid named Solomon over. 
Oh, Solomon. Solomon. Oh my God. Fucking Solomon. is one of those guys that go from zero to a thousand in fucking like a minute. Solomon is the the uh, the meme with the the hat. What's his name? No, oh, I don't fucking know. Ah, oh, shit, shit. shit. <clears throat> uh, it's my favorite meme in the world, too. Uh, scumbag it... Steve. Oh, Scumbag Steve, yeah. Solomon yeah. is Scumbag Steve. Well, he came over, and he was completely sober. Completely sober. I swear it was like 15 minutes later, I look, I see that my bathroom door's open, and the lights hit in the hallway. I'm like, who the fuck's in the bathroom? I walk into my bathroom. He, I walk in. He is passed out in my bathtub with frosted mini wheats. Like choking on it, passed out mini wheats <laughs> all over. I don't even know where he got the frosted mini wheats. Was he on the toilet? No, he was in my bathtub. But he shit <laughs> all over my bathroom, <laughs> like shit all over the bathroom. My 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 bathtub. It took me three days to unclog it from frosted mini wheats and shit. Do you understand? That? <laughs> and the the funny thing I don't get is is there was shit underneath the toilet seat. Like, how would you get it underneath the toilet seat? And this is like in a matter of 15 minutes he did, did all Did you this. put it in ass while he's passed out? I tried, but he woke up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so why don't you tell us some Gordon stories? Gordon stories are fun. Uh, he just, I don't know, man. He just liked to piss everywhere. For some reason, he was When he got drunk. And he pissed everywhere. Like, he, I remember his one girlfriend came over, and she woke me up, and she's like, will you help me? I'm like, Gordon pissed on you, didn't she? She's like, yeah, and all over my stuff in my purse. I'm like, here's the laundry room. Like, that was an everyday occurrence for me. I would have his random, you know, hose he was sleeping with come over and just fucking wake me up because he pissed all over him. And they, <laughs> they still stayed with him for some He's reason. a pisser. Yeah. I think they liked it. I don't know. Golden showers are a thing these days, so who fucking knows? <laughs> yeah, but it's usually when uh, everybody's in the mood and not uh, you're not, not sleeping. Hey, man. And drunk. Hey, man. Surprise. Well, drunk's probably. Uh, when women get surprised, you know, sometimes they like that shit. Um, you know, it's just fucking weird. You guys actually do remind me of when I get together with my army buddies. I'm glad to hear it, although I'm a giant wuss. And would hide. Is he part dog? Yeah, possibly. That actually reminds me about you said with your army buddies. Um, also at Joe's house, the, the house that we put a peanut butter together and everything. We had this friend, and I can't remember his name. Maybe Jay knows him, but he was a Marine. And he was a small little prick. And he, oh, had, and he yeah. had a tattoo on his chest. And I was just sitting there minding my own business. I'm not a very threatening guy. Okay. As you can tell. No way. Dad. But anyways, so he comes up to me and he just starts talking shit to me that he wants to fight me. And I'm like, oh, uh, like I'm like, dude, just shut the fuck up. Let me drink my beer. Well, I got beer muscles enough. And I'm uh, fighting him in Joe's kitchen. All Marines are pricks, according to Hell's Fire. We're starting <laughs> some shit. Thank yeah, you. dude. Like, I was just sitting there mind my own business, you know. I'm like, looking at all these women. I, would, actually, know. to be fair, when he wasn't drunk, he's actually a pretty cool dude. I know the guy Casey's talking yeah. about. But so, when he drunk, he, when he was drunk, he got mouthy. Like I'm sitting there just minding my own business, you know, looking at which girl I want to roofie that night, and <laughs> <laughs> like he just takes off his shirt, and he starts pacing back in front of me, and he's like looking at me, he's like, I want to fight you, and I'm like, okay. So I was drunk enough. He was the biggest pussy I've ever met, and he was from the Marines. And I remember I picked him up, and this is when we called it quits. I picked him up in his kitchen, in Joe's kitchen, and I slammed him down the ground so hard, all the plates fell out of the cupboards. The cupboards, and then <laughs> we were like, "Okay, we gotta stop her. His mom's gonna fucking kill us." But I just remember that I was like, "I was like, all Marines can't be this bad," because I seen Full Metal Jacket. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I, I miss our drunken escapades. We had so much I know, fun. dude. I remember one time, me and Joe, for the whole night of the, the, the party, I guess you'd call it. It was more or less like our Friday night. But uh, the whole time, we decided to speak in a British accent. I have no idea why. <laughs> we just fell into it. Neither one of us decided. We didn't discuss it. We just did. Nah. The whole night. Yeah, I know. I know the hell out of everybody. And if we would do that today, we would have a Muslim come in and blow us up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. There's been so many attacks on England. I had to make a joke. <coughs> so which one of you motherfuckers is going to call us? Come on. I didn't say that. I don't want That's no calls. That's why we're late. I don't want no calls. I ain't no ghost. No, I'm just joking. <coughs> That's why we're fucking late. We were trying to set this shit up. Skype charges fucking money for a phone number. Yeah, what the fuck is up with that shit? We're trying to set all this shit up so people can call. So Skype's like, oh, you have to pay this much for a number. Fuck I'm like, that fuck shit. That I want shit. Google Voice, bitches. Yeah, so we're doing Google Voice until, you know, Skype. I'm a, I'm a Google fan anyway. The only reason we did Skype before is because we found Google hard to work with for putting it on the show. But yeah. fuck. 
Fuck it. Fuck Skype. Fuck my Microsoft. Those money grubbing. Fuck bastards. the police coming straight from the underground. <laughs> my two's feeling better though. I think this beer's doing it, so I'm I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, it's pretty high alcohol content. Maybe that's yeah. why we're so chatty tonight. Yeah, probably. I don't know. Or it's just my teeth, you know, make me want to fucking, you know, go to a playground and, you know, drive a van through it. <laughs> Remember, guys, he's babysitting a child today. Yeah. We're gonna make popcorn and watch uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space later. <laughs> She's ten. Why would you It's a great movie. <laughs> Anyone in chat fucking knows that Killer Clowns from Outer Space is a great it's movie. It's a great schlocky. <laughs> <sighs> the kid is going to love you. See, he knows. Trevor knows. <laughs> yeah. Uh... I love that movie. I love anything but like that. That's why I think RoboCop is one of my favorite movies of all time because it's just so cheesy and just amazing. I watched that movie when I was eight. Okay, fair enough. I know exactly. That's how I like learned that shit. Classic says Satan. Satanic oppress. Hail Satan. Satanic <laughs> oppress. I'm just joking. I don't worship Satan, but I think it's fun to say that. Oh, that reminds me, since I did that. Uh, me and Jay were talking about this the other day. I guess Gene Simmons is trying to patent that. Trademark. <laughs> yeah, trademark. Trademark the horns. So what the fuck does that mean? What, what does it happen when you trademark? Every time someone does it, they have to flick him a quarter? Uh, he would own it, I guess. Uh, Gene Simmons is a money-grubbing piece of shit. Yeah, so it's just like a vain I thing. love chaos, but dude, Satanica... Press. <laughs> okay. Ah, gotcha. All right. Thank you. The lesbian vampire killers is the best. That reminds me. Fuck I've Gene Simmons, according to Hellfire. <laughs> uh, lesbian vampire. I've never seen that, but for some reason, that reminded me of the movie Teeth. Dio did it first. Yeah, Dio did it. I mean, uh, fucking on the cover of, uh, uh, what you call it, Beatles album. Uh, uh, help me out here. One of you guys in chat knows it. White Beatles album, album, blue album. There's uh, <laughs> Len Lennon's doing it in his little cartoon self. Oh, is he? Yeah. I'm not a big Beatles fan, so I wouldn't know. You're this because you suck. I just think they're overrated. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> they're not. They're not. I just don't think they have good music. I really don't. I think there's better stuff out there. Gene Simmons should pay Dio's wife Wendy every time he does it. A hey, fucking man. Now I want Wendy's cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said Wendy. I've always wondered that. Since they have the little cartoon of Wendy, if she was a real person, I wonder if I would fuck her or not. Do you ever think of that, Jay? Uh, no. <laughs> Did you ever see her. a picture of the real Wendy? She's not that attractive. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's ugly as fuck. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't go that far. No, she's, she's not that attractive. No, she ugly. She, lo she looks like a fucking, you know, piece of bacon wrapped around a corn on the cob when dipped in gasoline yeah <laughs> wendy dio is actually pissed yeah i i heard about that yeah because isn't dio dead uh, yeah yeah he died from stomach cancer but you know dio <laughs> like Casey's dio is the first one to to popularize this john lennon did it in the whole uh, yellow submarine promo promo video Man. Uh, his little cartoon character self did it. But, I mean, it's an ancient symbol. It's like an Italian symbol to ward off or give the evil eye, depending which way you put it. You know? And uh, you can't trademark. So it'd be like trademarking the peace symbol. Like, well, you can't do yeah, that. And I, I didn't want to say it, but I'm going to say it. Gene, Gene Simmons, you're sort of a Jew. <laughs> it's a little weird. <laughs> it's a little weird. Stop it. That a Jewish guy is trying to get money from <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Hell's Fire. Old ba band Coven did it in 1969. By the way, great band. Yeah, the way you talk, Hellfire, I think you and Jay would get along really well with music. Jay knows fucking music like nobody's mother. Yeah, I, I forgot entirely about Coven. Coven's a hell of a band. They were one of the proto-heavy metal. They were they were around before heavy metal was a thing, but they yeah. were great. I've never even heard of them. I, I, just, I don't know. That's the first time I've heard of them. I'll have to check them out, though. You're the guy who never got into Slayer. I don't want to hear your shit. I didn't shit. get into Slayer because I was too into Metallica. I was really into Metallica when I was younger. Like, really into Metallica. Like, I thought that was like the only music existed. And then I listened to Six Feet Under, and that just took me down a road <laughs> of drugs, alcohol, uh, whispering locks, whispering into women's buttholes, the whole fucking hundred yards. Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, Casey's always been more of the death metal guy. I I'm the thrash dude. I fucking I am love death metal. Oh. I I'm thrash to hell. Oh man. Slayer got better as they got older, surprisingly. Slayer's one of the few bands that still sounds like Slayer. Uh, also, case in point, is Exodus. Yeah, Cannibal Corpse, too. They haven't changed much. No, but uh, I, I, out of the thrash bands, I'm yeah. saying, uh, Exodus still sounds exactly like Exodus. Yeah. Especially now that they've got uh, 
Now they've got uh, 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 what's his face back in there again. What Zetro? Zetro. Maybe if you guys would show some cleavage, your numbers would go up. <laughs> God damn, Jay. Satanic Press followed you, crazy guys. Thank you. Thank we you very much. Appreciate it. That, man. Hail Satan. <laughs> Hail Satan! That is so much fun to say. I don't really know is. why. Hail Satan. <laughs> they need Wait, I'm going to do all Hail Satan! <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's how you get the numbers up. Because it's cyanide. Um, Sire, are you still in here? I don't know if you are or not. But I, I remember when you first fucking found us on Twitter. Um, I think... Uh, you have a photo or something on your Twitter. Gary of, Holt, fuck yeah. Of you in a bikini or something like that. You have a rock hard fucking body, dude. Like, I would not fuck with you. <laughs> She's gone. Oh, well, she if, left us. She doesn't love us. Well, anymore. if you watch this later, like, just, I would never fuck with you. Like, your body is so fucking, like, rock hard. Like, I think you could, like, flick me in the eyeball and I, it, it would just fucking kill me. <laughs> <laughs> like the words fatality would come up like from Mortal Kombat and then you would just go <laughs> she is dude she's beautiful yeah. she's a dude she's a dude wait size a dude that's nope. why she got breast implants <laughs> even her boobs are hard <laughs> no Sai I'm not calling you a man you're not a man I know you have a kid and everything like that <laughs> oh Jesus Christ what is wrong with what is wrong with you like our, our think... biggest fan and you fucking talk shit no Sai you know I you know you know I love you <laughs> those motherfuckers exactly following your twatter too this guy this guy's just like you <laughs> twatter dude you have to call it twatter man the twatter see I want to be like Australia where we say twat and cunt but like for some fucking reason females hate those words I have no idea why no, dude, that was to me. Oh, okay. Okay, I, whatever. I thought someone was calling cyanide a dude. I was like, what? <laughs> but anyways, like, I just don't get why that word pisses so many females off. I think it's because they think you're calling them that. I have no fucking clue. I just love Australians just because of the fact that they use cunt and twat. Like, you bloody cunts. Yeah, like every other word. It's Casey, amazing. you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. I'm still used to this, man. I'm still used to this live stream and shit. I got I got to get better though, because you know I'm, I'm going to be on Chatterbait later. <laughs> I'm going to be tying um, car battery. Ew, dude, you got a fucking kid here. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> gross. See, you had to make it gross, man. You had to make it gross. I completely forgot about the kid. <laughs> cunt, but anyways, cunt sounds like when you throw a rock into a pond or something. Oh my god, it does. <laughs> <laughs> That reminds me, someone edited a video of a midget jumping into a pond, and they made a bloop sound. <laughs> that's uh, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, you know. But I anyways, said, tonight at midnight, me chatterbait. I'm tying a ba uh, car battery to my balls. <laughs> if, if cyanide's a dude, I'm going gay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you like uh, metal, you should check my twatter too. Satanic Press. I am a big metal guy. We're both metal guys. Yeah, we, we're huge. Like he, like he said, I'm more into death metal. He likes. He I'm the thrash. thrash. Yeah. I am the thrash guy. I just like anything that gives me the chills. If if uh. You guys, you know, that listen to metal music or anything like that. I just love good music that when you hear it for the first time, you just get these chills over your body. You're like, fuck yeah. And, like, you just get so excited. And that's why I like death metal because death metal fucking pumps me up, dude. Or to, like, I want to break into the local armory, steal a tank, and fly the American flag <laughs> and fucking shoot shells into the air while I'm pissing on people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like the Steel Panther song. If suddenly you were a guy, I'd be suddenly gay. Yep. That's, yeah. Steel Panther is fucking fantastic. I love Steel Panther. They're great. Yeah, they're awesome. <sighs> Their new album is really good. Yeah. They, yeah. I know Jay listens to them all the time, and I I can just tell it's them because they're fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, we're old and hate most new music, but if you guys ever want Gordon's stop pissing, <laughs> we made Gard Gordon a martyr. <laughs> Gordon's a meme now. Uh, Sepultura Arise, fucking great. Uh, anyway, uh, if you guys ever have any good music you want to share with us, uh, hit us up on our Twitter account. We would love to hear it because we're old and crotchety and yeah. nothing sounds good anymore. I know. Like me and Jay were talking about this. We talk about it all the time. It's just so hard to Weenie find that. ride. Yep. It's so hard to find that music that gives you the chills anymore. Like just, oh. The other day I, I have a Google, Google play music subscription and I was listening to the, their new music first channel. Mm-hmm. It's God or new metal first. Sorry, oh, new yeah. metal first is god awful. Mm -hmm. Maybe hire a stripper to get your numbers up. 
Yeah, I. Tr- <laughs> oh my God, Jack! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> for some reason, I want. Uh, <laughs> and our numbers just <laughs> somebody just left. <laughs> for some reason, I want cereal after seeing that. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, we just we just don't like any new like newer music that gives us the chills or you know what whatever it gives Jay AIDS yeast infection whatever you want to call it. No, nah, it's it's dude. They all fucking try to do they, my my just melted <laughs> i just fucking killed everyone anyway uh all the music nowadays they all try to do the fucking clean singing and scream thing but you know what you're not rob flynn and you're not uh burton c bell stop it you know they, yeah. they always sound like a bunch of whiny bitches i know and i feel like when they try to clean sing when you're screaming i feel like they're like they they force it in there and me and jay have a term for this we call it tampon in it yeah when a song is so fucking awesome and has this good flow and then you just fucking shove that tampon up in there and you, you fucking, stop the flow yeah you just stop the blood flow let the blood flow come on it's like <laughs> monster voice scary 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 <laughs> Filled my mouth. <laughs> she broke my heart in second grade. Nobody... <laughs> you know, or, or you get a band that's even worse. That sounds great at the start, and then you read the lyrics, and I'm like, guys, it's just like a bunch of bitch shit. Yeah, yeah. The singer from Opeth was amazing. Yeah, Opeth took, uh, took they, they fucking toilet papered it, too. Yeah. Um, Opeth is the one with the female, right? No, 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 no. Okay. No. I always get the suit mixed up. Otep and Opeth. I always get them mixed up. Otep is a crappy new metal band fronted by a woman. Uh... <laughs> O- Opeth is an um, was an amazing uh, melodic death metal band mm-hmm. with a uh, prog metal band. Even yeah. I would go so far as to say, uh, but they kind of like turned into alternative rock. Yeah, I would say I seen them live at a festival, and at the festival you were only allowed thirty minutes to play unless you were like the. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was like two songs. Yeah, they, that's they played like three songs because all their songs are like ten minutes long. Oh yeah, <laughs> but I mentioned this on a show before. They're really respected in like I think it's the Norwegian countries where they actually dress in like gowns and um, tuxedos, and they go to these huge opera houses and they watch them like it's like a very I, i'm not shitting band. on their musical ability i'm not they're yeah. fantastic oh, they're musicians but uh it's just it's not my thing man but i don't know i i like prog rock i like prog metal mm-hmm. i like uh you know i love dream theater dream are they still around oh absolutely they're uh, still playing music oh yeah they're still around okay mike Bangini plays germs for him now instead of uh so what's his face all right because i was wondering um, cause I used to, my friend Corey, which is an amazing drummer right now. He like gets paid a lot of money to Mike drum. Portnoy. Sorry. Mike point out Iron Maiden still growing. So yeah, strong. But, Absolutely. I still need to see them before they're all dead. Yeah. My friend was just at the show. I think they were just in Oklahoma or something. Iron Maiden. Yeah. Oh, dude, I need to go. See cause my Iron friend Maiden. was just posted on Facebook and he's from Oklahoma. So I'm pretty sure they were just there. Hell, I, Listen I, to Finn troll. I, I believe I've heard of them, but I can't really like. And like another thing, like I see a lot of this, like. I don't know, like, there's so many genres now. Like, there's pirate metal, there's beer metal, there's, like, all this weird shit. It's just, like, can we just fucking play music? Like, I don't but know. But it's just, it's just people looking for labels, man. The, the, the bands don't care. The bands I know. are just doing what they do. But it's, like, like I swear to God, there's, like, fucking this one metal where you just, you know, sing into a bowl of, you know, trick cereal, and they're calling it a genre. Like, oh, fucking, like, what are we doing here, people? <laughs> it's just fucking weird, man. I know, but like we said, yeah, if you want to share music, dude, uh, share in our Twitter or Twatter, Hail Satan, uh, <laughs> you know, YouTube us. We post all these videos on YouTube and everything like that. If you're in the YouTube, you know, send us a private message because uh, our one, funny. <laughs> sorry, our one friend, uh, Malcav, he's on the wall of badasses here. He uh, he sent us some music. We listened to it. And we talked about it and shit like that because we love that stuff. We just well, he, he, he uh, words. <laughs> like he started we said, we uh, like new music. He shared with me some. Uh, some uh, fucking stoner metal, which I am a big fan of stoner metal as well. Mm. And the funny part is, don't smoke pot. <laughs> That's true, you don't smoke nope. pot. It makes me tired and hungry, and I'm tired and hungry enough on my own without assistance. Yeah. Worst worst mistake Dream Theater made with, is depending on... Uh, yeah, uh, Libri rather than higher singers. Absolutely. <laughs> Don't even show up. It's so sad as a great as you guys are. Trolls don't even show up. <laughs> you know, we did have we did have a guy last week called Mexican Troll. Yeah, he came in and he was like, he was like, oh, wow, another talk show. How original. He just left. 
Like well, he wasn't even trying to hide how he was a troll. Uh, I'm glad you guys appreciate uh, what we do. We appreciate it. You guys coming in here and watching the show live with us. Although still nobody's called our phone number that I fucking <laughs> wasted 25 minutes setting up. Uh, but anyway, you know, we appreciate you guys coming in and uh, share with your friends. You know, uh, we like doing what we do here. We uh, grew up on, you know, Opie and Anthony and Howard Stern and kind of wanted to keep doing this. In fact, I, I, I even had aspirations of going to college for communications and never ended up doing it because i'm cheap because now with the internet you can get two jackasses that don't know what they're doing (laughs) just to make a show yeah so so now we're doing what we do here but uh yeah we uh we enjoy doing it it's jay's time of the month why is it my time of the month I don't know where your nipples bleeding or something (laughs) i suppose Uh, i didn't realize i was in am i in a bad mood I don't know. <laughs> am, am I am I yelling at my husband for no no particular reason? <laughs> Jay Jay made fun of a, made fun of women. I can't believe it. My wife doesn't we watch this a, show. We need a tally board up here because Jay actually made fun of women. I love. I it. don't do that very often because I respect people <laughs> and their opinions. Okay. Yeah. Unlike you, I'm the voice of reason here. I am a. I am, no, I, no, listen. I just tell the fucking truth. Truth. That's all there is about it. You tell I, you tell no. your version of truth. No, I just it is the fucking truth. God damn it! That's like that's like this fucking child blast that lives down the street from me. Everyone's like pissed that they're not talking to him, they're ignoring him. It's like you fucking touched a kid. <laughs> like what the fuck? Yeah, he man? came in the restaurant the other day. Yeah, and he, he got mad because uh, no, no one, one talked, talked to, him, to him, so he left and slammed the door. It's like, oh no, no one would talk to the man who touched a child. Really? That's such a fucking surprise. Grosley Adams. <laughs> Is that my new name, Grosley Adams? I like that. I'm Grosley Adams now. Fuck. I need to get. I need to get rid of where it says uh, says J over here, and replace it with uh, Grosley Adams. <laughs> Grosley Adams. That sounds like a good hockey player. Like Grosley Adams. What's up? Go! <laughs> they got saved for all oh, that soccer. Never mind. Grosley Adams and and Bert Bert <laughs> Mullet Bert Mullet that's a good name that is such a good name can that be my new name Bert, Bert Mullet, Mullet. <laughs> dude you're going bald you should go at Gross Gullet you like Devin I Townsend style I should yes and they were awesome live strapping young lad strapping young lad uh, they played in this uh, town called Scranton around us. Scranton! Yeah, and he just came out and just started fucking making fun of how we're just a bunch of backwoods pieces of shit from Scranton. And I was like, this guy is just making fun of thousands of people right to our face. Yeah. Like, I love him. <laughs> uh, okay, two things that just popped up and they went away too fast. But First, uh, my boner. <laughs> yeah. Uh, put some uh, clickbait in our titles and people would probably stay. That would be great, except for we stay. Still don't know how to change the title using OBS. There's got to be a way. We don't know how. Yeah, we have no fucking idea. Uh, <laughs> number two, uh, if uh, we are all God's children, what's so fucking special about Jesus? I don't know. Uh, I We all pray to a different invisible man. Some of us pray to a flying spaghetti monster who gives a rat's ass. <laughs> uh, you guys should be Grosley Adams, No Door Casey. Uh, yes, I agree. I don't get it. <laughs> Was that a gay joke? you have no door on your bathroom. <laughs> oh, okay. God, people pay attention to this chat, man. Apparently. Like, someone remembered Gordon. They remembered I don't have a door in my bathroom. You guys are good, man. <laughs> don't mind me reaching up and shit and, like, attacking the camera. I'm looking at it in the preview right now. It looks ridiculous. Uh, our, our headphones got disconnected somehow, so I fixed it. Yeah, we don't have very expensive stuff here. Like, like we rigged well, this all this whole up. whole thing is like $200. Yeah, like, I had to suck off a homeless guy to get the microphones, and, like, all the stuff we made with, like, Twizzlers. Beardy and, man and none. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we made all the wires with, like, tw- uh, twist ties and, like, old uh, plastic bags. So it's pretty cheap around here. In all but. reality, uh, I do have a twist tie holding my <laughs> microphone cable to my stand. Yeah, we didn't. We, we just. Actually, someday Jay was just like, hey, do you want to do a podcast? I'm like, sure. Why the fuck not? <laughs> we just like threw it all together. Yeah, we had a couple extra bucks. Tax return season was around the corner. We're like, fuck it, two hundred dollars, we go. Might as well. But, like, I'm a depressed piece of, sh- piece of shit. I'd let everyone else, you know, be depressed as me. Whatever. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to wrap shit up here pretty soon. I'm, I'm depressed. None of you guys called us. <laughs> of course, Casey sucks off all this guy. Fuck yeah, man. I love oral sex, man. Oral sex isn't good unless the fucking shit stinks. 
All right. Then. So you can so you can smell their depression. Pretty humble and modest <laughs> fellas. No, we're honest. This was literally like a two hundred dollar job. This mixer board was the most expensive part. Yeah, I think it was like eighty bucks. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> Who enjoyed it more? You or the homeless guy? No, I think we paid one hundred and twenty for the mixer board. Mm. The microphones were fifteen dollars, including the cables. <laughs> My phone is turned off, or I would have called. No, next week, bitch. It's okay. <laughs> you already uh, you already called a couple times. You called me gay. <laughs> I, I just and called, that's all I want. <laughs> I just called a military man, bitch. He's probably gonna go kick my ass. Yeah, because what it sounds like that uh, you know he was the one that actually got the good you know training and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the computers we already had laying around, and the webcam is a sixty dollar Logitech webcam that we scraped and hemmed and hawed about getting forever. Yeah, I just said fuck it because anytime I have a problem in life, I just throw money at it. If like you he, have money to throw at it. Yeah, like, he raped me. Bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean, we don't know what we're doing. Casey went to school for graphic design, but for some reason, which I can't fathom, I make all the graphics. <laughs> I know. I don't get that either. I don't get that either. For some reason, completely beyond my comprehension, I do the graphics, and Casey does the video editing. <laughs> like, I went to I went to college for CGI and movies and, like, animation, like, WALL-E and Toy Story and all that shit, but he does the graphics for some reason. We don't know how that turned out that it just, way. It just works. <laughs> Out. I had time, did it, and it worked out. Yeah, we did get lots of hearts. We have 50,000 hearts. Is That's that a lot? Awesome. Is that a lot? <laughs> I guess. Because you know, we, like we said, was this our fourth time on Periscope? Yeah, something like it. Yeah. But Jay is right. It's it's about time. We we do about an hour show, so we just want to thank everyone for coming in. You guys were awesome. Uh, Hellfire, you're always awesome as usual. You were awesome. We were openly hostile opinions. <laughs> uh, Hail Satan, you were awesome. Go to go keep to keep using o- twatter. <laughs> go to openlyhostileopinions.com. We have merchandise. Cyanide has over a million. Yeah, well, she's got tits and we don't. <laughs> uh, uh, go to openlyhostileopinions.com. There's links to all of our social networks. You can follow us on Google Plus. You can follow us on Twitter. You can follow us on uh, 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 what's the other one? Facebook, the one I don't use because I'm an antisocial piece of shit. Uh, you can uh, listen to us and subscribe to this show as a podcast on uh, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher. Thanks, uh, over 12K I gave you guys. Jesus Christ, dude. Clicking that mouse like it owes you money. Damn right. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, also, we also do a couple other things. So if you are not already subscribed to us on YouTube, you should be. It's uh, YouTube.com slash C slash Openly Hostile Opinions. Yes. All right. And we will see you all next week. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone. Have a good one. Keep masturbating and sucking off homeless people. Peace. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions podcast. <laughs> We are available on YouTube, Google Play, iTunes, and your favorite podcast app. Be sure to like, subscribe, rate, and comment. If you want to help make all this possible, become a patron at patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Oh, and in case I don't see you. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night.